Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is Red Claw Wolf from Chowder and Airsoft, and the glare coming off my glasses is really, really bad. So I'm gonna be looking. Can I look at an angle? Um, so sorry about if the video quality or the audio is really bad. I am using my webcam because right now my camera is uh, MIA at this point or KIA. I, there's some problems with it, and I just can't use it right now. So I'm sorry if the video quality and audio is really bad. It looks really bad when I'm doing this. So um, here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so this week, sorry, I've been late on my video for uh, my Airsoft Budget series. I've just been having a lot of personal problems uh, with my family. So anyway, I'm back doing this. Uh, things might be going slow for a little bit. I can't, like, not look at I have to look at myself. I have to... Anyway, um, so this series, uh, this episode at least, will be done on AKs. This one will be a little bit quicker just because um, I'm not really that too much prepared. I, I gotta take these off. Um, so anyway, um, so AKs, like I said, now you can get an AK from anyone and you can find them everywhere it, it's it's like it's like as it's like if the m4 was number one number two has got to be uh ak's in the airsoft world now ak's are definitely different than m4s they're not as customizable and they're not as um they're not just like there's not there's not a lot you can actually do with them like putting on optics and et cetera et cetera but they're not meant for optics they're not meant for all elaborate stuff the AK is like the perfect stock gun you you don't need an optic for it it performs well um, they're easy to maintain they have better gearboxes than the M4 gearboxes um, and really there's no like greater AK than another AK. They're all, I shouldn't say they're all the same, but pretty much they are. Like, I mean, there you might have like polymer bodies, metal bodies, real wood, fake wood, folding stock, pull out stock, full stock. I mean, it's just, there's variance, but there's not so much difference. And really, if you're gonna get an AK, um, I would definitely go for, I mean, most AKs, and these are from the companies that I would recommend getting them, most AKs from JG, Saima, D-Boys, and D-Boys VRC, and D-Boys Kalishkinov uh, AKs, they pretty much have all the, all the same internals, um, they all pretty much have the same um, wiring setup, you get a 600 round high cap with any AK you buy, I mean, the barrel lengths are pretty much the same unless you get a Beta Spetsnaz or a CQB1, barrel length is a little bit shorter, or the AK-74 and the AK-47, that's what I mean, the barrel lengths are different. Um, you pretty much just, um, it's just, there's not much of a difference between the, in a lot of the AKs that different companies name, you're just paying, most of the companies like Echo One, you're paying for the Echo One label on the gun. It's, it's just, it's ridiculous. I mean, if you're going to get an AK in the Airsoft uh, community, you want to get an AK between 100 and $150. If you want to go a little bit more for a little better price, like real wood and other stuff and accessories you can get with it, go for $200. Like, um, but really, like, 150 and then a variant of $20 less or $20 more should be your range for an AK. JG makes good AKs. I mean, they're decent. They're a clone company. Uh, yes, um, they're they're good. I would recommend a JG uh, AK. They've got the, I think JG's got the Krebs AK, which is a new uh, variant of the AK that's out there right now. And, um... I mean, definitely just uh, JG makes good guns in general. Um, they're pretty good for a beginner. So I definitely get an AK from them. Um, but if you want to get a little bit more uh, 
quality and a little bit higher price, I'd definitely go with Simo. Like Simo, hands down on the AKs, just amazing, just awesome. I love Simo uh, AKs. They feel well, they handle well, and um, they're just good quality uh, internals as well. Uh, gearboxes, almost every single AK out there now has a version 3 gearbox, which means the motor is mounted with the gearbox, so it's like it comes with a mounting in the pistol grip handle on the AKs. Um, definitely Saima. D-Boys also makes a good AK. Um, D-Boys and Saima are pretty much like even on each other. I would still rather go with Saima over D-Boys just because I know sometimes D-Boys uh, you get a little bit more lemons than you would with Saimas. But if your hands down want to go full on out with like the best AK you could possibly get with steal everything just almost looking exactly like the real steel AK, VRC, um, not VRC, no, VFC, I can't remember, it, anyway, I think it's VFC, they just blow it out of the water, it is phenomenal, I have actually been able to shoot one before, and it just, it, it's nice, I just, I mean, if you want to throw down that money for a real steel AK, I would go over. I would go over to VFC rather than uh, real sword, uh, real steel, or real sword. I think that's what they're called. They make all real steel uh, weapons. But definitely, um, I mean, go with VFC if you're gonna get a real AK uh, or a real AK lookalike to the airsoft uh, AKs. Um, pretty much all. Uh, all high-end AKs shoot um, 370 to 400 feet per second. Um, you know, you get a, either a full metal body or a, new, a full a top metal receiver and a lower nylon polymer receiver. Um, you know, you can get a full black tactical looking one and some of them have an RAS system on it. Or you can go with the imitation wood or a real wood um, Oh, excuse me, real wood uh, handguard and grip, or not grip, um, stock. It just, it's all up to your preference. There's so many different AKs out there, but I definitely go with the money and the quality would definitely be JG um, AKs and Saima uh, AKs and even D-Boy AKs. You just have a lot of options out there. Um, and I mean, plus no other gun has um, 600 round high cap like standard that comes with it. That's a bonus. You're like you already have like a miniature assault rifle or not assault rifle, um, a miniature like light machine gun, 600 rounds. Like that's two M4 high caps, or um, that's at least you'd have to have two uh, G36Cs uh, high caps, or um, I mean you'd probably have to have three. Uh, M5 high caps, like it just, it just, the amount of ammo that you can hold in it is probably the um, best uh, available out there. And the gearboxes are, like I said, they're easy to work on, they're a little bit more durable, like a little bit, way more durable than M4, um, uh, M4, uh, I can't even talk way durable than the M4 uh, gearboxes, and I'll be, uh, hopefully I can show that to you guys here pretty soon when I start, um, I'll, hopefully I'll start, uh, I'm hope I'm on my way to get a job, hopefully when I get a job I can put a little bit more money into this, anyway, that's a little update on that, um, and I'm thinking about doing probably an Airsoft giveaway, uh, here in the next month or two, for any of my subscribers out there, which I know there's only three, only got three subscribers, Hopefully I can get some more guys. I keep watching this thing. Anyway, um, yeah, just uh, like the video, subscribe, comment if you have anything else you want to hear, um, or any of the other questions you have. So this week was AKs. I'll put an annotation right here for the M5s and an annotation right here for the M4s. And um, next week. Uh, I think I'll do uh, G36s, uh, that whole layout. That one will be really quick. Because um, there's not there's a lot of companies that make it, but they're like, they're almost pretty much the same. So I'm sorry if the audio is bad. I'm sorry if the video quality is bad. I'm doing this with my webcam. It's actually working nicer than I thought it would. So um, yeah, peace out, guys. Have fun.